Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In addition to their new Hocus Pocus kit, Queen & Company also released their Halloween Sentiment Stackers. This is a small kit that includes three word dies with the matching outlines. So it has the word boo, spooky, and candy. And these can be used on their own or you can add one of the sentiment stamps to coordinate with the dies. So there's a whole bunch of just real small sentiments. This is a two by three inch stamp set that also has the little jack-o'-lantern and the bat. And this is a perfect set to use their new foils. So this kit includes a variety of Halloween colored foils. So it has some of the diamonds, the glitter, the metallic, and then just the foil colors. So really pretty. The crushed diamond foil is definitely my favorite. And then to adhere the foil, there are a lot of different options, but this kit does include four sheets of their gloopers. And basically this is like the red line tape, but in a full six by six sheet. So you can actually die cut this and then you can apply the foil. So I will be showing how to do all of that with the five cards that I'm gonna make using this kit. Queen & Company also has several bling and embellishment bundles in Halloween colors. I've shared about a couple of them before, but they recently added two more sets. So let me show you what's included. The first set is a bling set, and it includes six sheets of bubbles. There are three of the candy shop bubbles, and then there are three sheets of the iridescent bubbles, all in nice Halloween colors. And this set is only $5.95, so that's a really great price. And then the second set is the embellishment set. And it's set number two. And this is on sale for only $9.95. And considering one pack of the trio trims is $3.95 each, this really is an amazing deal. So you get a sheet of the lollies, their epoxy dots, two of the stars, two different pinwheels, there's orange and purple. There's a set of black and white flowers and then two of the trio trims, one in yellow and one in purple. So I will have links in the description box for both of these sets along with the other three that are currently on sale. So let's go ahead and get started with card number one. I'm using a sketch by Operation Ride Home. This is number 177. And instead of using it horizontally, the way it's designed, I'm actually gonna do it vertically. The Sentiment Stacker Kit does not include a paper pad. So I'm gonna be using a few different Halloween six by six paper pads that Queen & Company sells. So for this first one, I'm using their Halloween Hoopla six by six paper pad. Lots of really fun Halloween colors. And there are a few designs that are very Halloween specific, but the majority of the paper pad could be used all year round. So I'm gonna mat all of these layers using just some black cardstock, and I do add just an eighth of an inch additional for that cardstock layer. Now on the top of the card, I'm gonna add some of the yellow trio trims. I wrapped it around the card twice and I'm just adhering the back side with some of their red line tape just to make sure it stays in place. And then before I add anything else to this card, I'm gonna attach my card front onto a card base using lots of adhesive. And I am gonna tie a little bow in that upper left-hand corner, but for now I just tucked that extra piece of twine underneath. So I'm using some of the foundation dies, cut out this scallop circle along with this stitched circle, using some more of the pattern paper from this six by six paper pad. I'll tie my little bow and just trim off the ends. And now is the fun part where we get to use the foil. I'm gonna cut out the word candy and I'm gonna use one of the gloober sheets. So I'm cutting it into the clear side versus that white backing. So then once you cut it out, you pull off the white backing. And for this card, I'm just gonna stick that whole piece right down onto the card. One part that I've always struggled with is trying to release that clear backing from the gloober sheet. I recently learned a trick. 
you use a piece of tape. So just press it on to that clear backing and it peels right off just beautifully. So this was a game changer and now I absolutely love the gloopers and I think I'll be using them quite often. Adhering the foil is super easy. It basically sticks to anything sticky. You want the shiny side up, so that beautiful pattern, you want it facing up, and then you just press it down onto that adhesive and then give it a good rub and then pull it up. And if there are any little spots that didn't quite have the foil stick, you just press back on with some of that leftover foil. And it just works out lovely. So even if this foil isn't as wide as that outline, you can just line it right back up and it still looks great. You can barely see the little seam at all. Now for the word candy, I cut this out of some of Queen & Company's black glitter foam. And this is also self-adhesive, so super easy to use. Just pull off the backing and then line it up right into that outline. I love the contrast with the, the yellow glitter foil and then the black glitter foam. So I went ahead and stamped one of the sentiments using one of the foundation banner dies. So this will be candy and give me something good to eat. And then I'm just layering that sentiment strip with some purple cardstock. I wanted to give it a little more contrast instead of layering it in the black. And I'll just adhere that right underneath the word candy. And now to pull out all of the fun embellishments, I'm using a variety of different types. So I have some of the, the lollies, iridescent bubbles, and then I also have some of the jelly gems. So there is my finished card, and this is card number one. So now moving on to card number two. This time the paper pad is the Fright Fest Collection. This is again by Queen & Company. I'm using a sketch from Mojo Monday. This is number 485. And if you are interested in any of the sketches I use, including measurements, I do have them all listed on my coordinating blog post, and that link is in the description box below. I'm just going to use some plain light gray cardstock for the background, and then for this larger rectangle piece, I have some of this fun Halloween pattern paper, and then I just added a thin strip of Queen & Company's glitter paper. So I'm just using some of the foil, and I adhered it to the bottom of this pattern paper just with some liquid adhesive simply because my ATG tape was a little bit wider than that thin strip that I cut out. Then I'm adding this large banner using some tone-on-tone -tone plaid yellow paper, and then I'm gonna use some of the purple twine. So I'm wrapping this one around the card three times, adhering it to the back of the card using some more of the red line tape. I just always wanna make sure it's gonna stay in place and not move. And I have noticed when I use twine, especially towards, toward the end of the card, sometimes that side of the card lifts up slightly from the card base. So I did put another strip of that red line tape just to make sure it all stays down. And then I'm gonna tie a bow using another piece of the twine, just putting it on that right hand side of that yellow banner. Snip off the ends. And now we're gonna do some more fun with foil. But this time, rather than just adhere the foil directly onto that yellow paper, I'm gonna put that galuber sheet onto some thicker white cardstock and then cut it out. That way it'll have just a little more dimension on the card. So I pulled out the tape, did that fun trick again. I actually learned this trick from Wendy with Queen & Company. So thank you very much, Wendy. I love this trick. So now I'm gonna put down the foil. So this time I'm using some of the crushed diamond. This is in a purple, kinda has a pinkish color as well. So after I remove that backing on the gloober sheet, I can just stick that foil right down on top of the sticky side. Now, since I did adhere the gloober sheet onto just some plain cardstock, there isn't any adhesive on the back. So I pulled out some of Queen & Company's liquid adhesive so I could adhere it onto my card. 
Now for the word, this time I cut it out with some of the silver glitter foam. And I'm just poking out the inside of the word boo. And again, this is Queen & Company's foam, so it is self-adhesive. Just pull off the backing and place it right on top of that foil. This has a lot of sparkle. It's really pretty. I used one of the foundation die sets again to cut out this sentiment banner. And I'm just going to layer that on some black cardstock. And just to make sure it's going to stay in place, I did decide to use some more of the red line tape. This stuff is super sticky, so I know it's not going to fall off. And then I'll go ahead and adhere that onto my card. I'm putting it just slightly to the right side of that sentiment, just for a little more interest. And then the little stamp set has two images. So there's a little bat and then there's also the jack-o'-lantern. So I decided to add a couple of black bats just around the sentiment. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some of the bling. There's always so many choices. This time I'm using some pearls, some iridescent bubbles, and then again, some of the jelly gems. I love the colors in this card, but as you can see, that yellow paper could be used for a card anytime. It doesn't have to be a Halloween card. And then I do like to add just that thin strip of cardstock on the inside of my card, just for a little extra detail. So there is card number two. Now moving on to card number three. And for this card, I didn't use a card sketch. The paper collection is the Halloween Hoopla again. So I'm using this really colorful, kind of like a Halloween rainbow stripe background. And then just a tone on tone black polka dot paper. And then I also used this zigzag border die for that left hand side. And I do want to mention that Queen & Company just released a four-piece border die set. I would have used it in this video, but I hadn't received it yet. In fact, it's out for delivery today. I'm really looking forward to trying those. And I will add a link in the description box if you want to go check those out. Now this large banner that I'm using is from one of the foundation dies from Queen & Company. I love their foundation die sets and I use them all the time. And once again, I'm layering everything in some black cardstock, just adding that extra eighth of an inch since I love the contrast that it adds. I decided to stamp that sentiment in the lower corner on that banner. Took a chance that I wasn't gonna mess up while I was stamping it. Otherwise, I normally would've used a mini Misty or another stamp positioning tool. So I liked that extra layer that I did on the previous card with the gloober. So once again, I attached that gloober sheet onto some thick white cardstock. This time I'm using the word spooky. I use that piece of tape to peel off the backing. And then I'm using some of the black crushed diamond foil this time. Love this color, it's just beautiful. So once again, give it a really good rub. Just kind of line up the two pieces just to try not to have any extra openings. So all those extra little bits of foil, you can just keep pushing it down, making sure to get really good coverage because there's always like a little tiny piece that maybe just didn't adhere. So once I get all of those edges, I'm just going to use some a liquid adhesive and then attach that onto my card. My glue is running a little bit low, so I'm having to squeeze it a bit harder. And I did use a piece of just cardstock to press that onto the card, because I have noticed if you push it down with your finger, the foil will actually take the, your fingerprint. You'll leave your fingerprint on there, or you can easily scratch it. So I found that if you just use a piece of cardstock to just give it that good, firm push, then you don't end up with fingerprints. I used some of the orange glitter foam for the word spooky. And since it's the word spooky, I decided to add a couple of the wiggle eyes. So these are from Queen & Company. Just adhered those using some liquid adhesive and just put them in the center of the double O's. And I'm gonna add some embellishments. So this time I cut out some, or I will be cutting out some stars. These are from the foundation die and I wanna add foil to them. 
So once again, I'm just going to put the gluber sheet right onto some white cardstock. And then I'll go ahead and cut out three different stars. So now that those are all cut out, use a piece of tape to peel off that backing, and then I can use some of the foil. So for a couple of them, I'm just going to use some of the purple foil. Give it a really good rub. And since I did use white cardstock, I would suggest using the same color cardstock as the foil, simply because you can actually see that faux stitching. It'll show up as white because you can't really get the foil into it. Unless you like the look of the white stitching, then it's just fine. But if you'd prefer it to be the same color, if you used purple cardstock instead, and then just like on this other star, it's a silver, so you could use a gray cardstock then it just won't be so obvious with those little white stitching. I missed a couple little spots, so once again just pulled off that extra foil and pressed it back in place. Put a little bit of liquid adhesive on the back and then I'm just going to put them around the sentiment. So I'll do two of them in that upper left hand corner and then I'll add one in the lower right hand corner. I had a little extra glue kind of come out on the edge, so I just used a piece of cardstock to wipe that away. And now I'll pull out some of the bling. Nice variety again. I have some of the pinwheels, some of the bubbles, and then also the jelly gems. I decided to put some bling in the center of all the stars this time. It just adds a little extra detail. And then once again, I'll put that extra scrap of pattern paper on the inside of the card. And there is my finished card, and this is card number three. So now moving on to card number four. I'm using the Halloween Hoopla Paper Collection again. And I cut out this really fun star background using a stitched rectangle die. And I'm going to do a double matted layer. So first I'm putting it on some purple cardstock and then again on some black. And each of those layers is just an additional eighth of an inch. So that stitched rectangle is four inches by five and a quarter. So I got all of that adhered onto a card base. And now I'm going to add a foil border strip along the bottom of the card. So I just have a piece of white cardstock. And then I'm using the half inch size of the red line tape. So I'm just going to remove that backing on the red line tape. I have some more of this crushed diamond foil, giving it a good rub, getting it on the edges really well, and just peel that right off. Look how beautiful that is. So I add some adhesive on the back side. And then I'll just attach it on that lower part of my card. Then I use some more of the foundation dies for this scalloped rectangle and then also this little stitched rectangle that goes on the inside, putting a little crooked on the card just for some extra interest. And now I'll be using the foam. So this is not the glitter foam. They do sell some that's just a neutral color without any of the glitter. So you're not going to see the color at all because I'm actually going to cover it up with some foil. So I cut out the small piece of foam, and then I have another piece of the gluber, attach that right on top, and then just ran that through my die cut machine. So this is the word candy. And since that foam is self-adhesive, I just had to remove the backing and just press it onto my card. Use the piece of tape to pull off the clear backing on the gluber. And one thing I did notice, I think just because of the thickness with the foam and the gluber sheet, that the backing didn't cut out like really detailed. It had a little bit of extra around the word, but the foam did. So that's really all that matters. Doesn't, it's not a big deal if you have a little extra of that backing since you'll peel it all off anyway. And I used the green glitter foil this time. And then for the word, I'm using some more of the foam. So this is gonna have a little extra dimension. This is the white glitter foam. So I cut out the word candy. And sometimes when I cut out the foam, the backing actually sticks to my die cut plate, which is fine because you can just pull it off later. So this time all of the word was stuck inside the die. So I just used my little 
pick tool, little piercing tool to pop that out. And then I'll just place all of those letters right onto that foil background. And now for the sentiment, I'm just using a really small sentiment banner. Stamped the a Happy Halloween to You sentiment. And I'm just going to pop it up just a little bit using some thin foam squares. And then I'll put that right underneath the candy word and off to the right hand side. And then just for a little extra detail in that upper corner, I'm going to add three different banners in different colors. And I just used the sentiment dies. These are the, the dies that are included on, in one of the foundation sets. So three different colors, all at different sizes, and I'm just going to layer them over on that left hand side. And I'm adhering them into place using some of the red line tape. Just want to make sure it stays put. So once those are all down, I'm going to pull out some of the embellishments. So a lot of different bling again, using some of the lollies, the pinwheels, I have iridescent bubbles, and then just some of the candy shop bubbles. This is a really colorful card with lots of shine. I like how this one turned out a lot. And once again, adding that strip on the inside of the card. So there is my finished card, and this is card number four. Now moving on to my final card. This is card number five. So once again, I'm not using a card sketch. I cut out this background paper using another stitched rectangle die. It's this nice tone-on-tone -tone paper from the Halloween Hoopla collection. So it has all these little pumpkins in the background. Layered that with some black cardstock. And I did use a little wider matting this time, so I did an additional fourth of an inch. I'm using some of the orange trim. This is a really pretty trim that has a little bit of sparkle to it. So I wrapped it around the card twice, just securing the back with some of the red line tape, putting a ton of adhesive on the back. So I'll put that card front onto a card base. And I will be tying a bow, but I'm going to hold off for just a little bit. So I'm going to cut out the word boo three times. I cut out a strip of the black foam, the self-adhesive foam, put a gloober sheet right on top. So there are my three boo words. And I chose to use the black foam this time since I'm going to use the black crushed diamond foil. So that way if any of it doesn't adhere real well, it'll already have black in the background so you won't really see it. So first I adhered all of those boos in place, just have them in a little diagonal line. And now I'm going to add all of the foil. And I was already a little nervous if I had enough foil left. And then sure enough, the foil slipped out of my hand and it fell onto that first boo crooked. But no worries, I ended up peeling it off and then there's always that extra foil around the edges, so I just kept pressing it on to the adhesive until I got a nice solid coverage. And you can't even tell that it didn't go on very straight to start with. So with the other two, I was really careful holding on nice and secure. But just so you know, if you do slip, it's not a big deal. You can just keep pressing on that extra foil onto the adhesive until you get a nice solid coverage. As you can see, I had just enough foil left over. It was really close. And I should probably mention, I actually made two of each of these cards. So I didn't run out of the foil just on my two cards that you see in this video. I actually made four using this black foil. So I'm just going to fill in all those extra little spots. And then I cut out the boo word with some of the, just the plain white foam. Pulling out all of those little inside pieces from the word, and then I'll just adhere all of those onto my card. I love the contrast with that black crushed foil and then the white foam. And it does look a little bit purple in the video, and it does have that slight purple look when the light hits it, but it's, it's really a black. So now that I have all of those hit here, I can go ahead and tie my bow. I'm putting it on the, on the lower third of the card. 
And then I'm going to add a couple of the little banners in that upper right hand corner. So I'm going to do two of them, one in just a solid black, and the other I decided I need a little more foil. So I cut it out on some orange cardstock, put the gluber sheet on top, die cut out that banner. So I'll peel off that little backing. And then I'm going to use some of the orange crushed diamond foil. And since I learned from my previous card, I didn't want the white stitching to show through when I placed it on white cardstock by using the orange cardstock, then I didn't have that issue at all. So I'm just going to adhere both of those banners onto my card using some of the red line tape. So now it's time to pull out the embellishments. And since I only have basically the two colors other than the white on my card, I'm going to stick with some black and then the orange bling. So I have the black lollies, some of the black pearls, and then some of the orange iridescent bubbles. And there is my finished card. And this is definitely my favorite out of the five. But do let me know which card is your favorite this time. So here's just a quick recap of the five cards I made using Queen & Company's Halloween Sentiment Stackers Kit. This kit is so much fun with all of the beautiful foils that are included. And I loved getting to use the gluber sheets and trying them out on just cardstock, onto the paper, and even onto the foam. The foil is so easy to use. It sticks to anything that has an adhesive to it. If you are interested in any of the products, I will have links in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.